What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast I did uh, cheese bagel with um, cream cheese and a large cup of coffee. And um, for dinner I had two slices of pizza and um, a small bowl of um, sausage. Um, you know, uh, you may have heard a car just pass, but aside from that, you may not hear anything. And the reason why is because my parents actually aren't home, they're out of town in Spokane right now. Um, so I'm just hanging out, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy, um, you know, I love my parents, right, but, um, you know, there's a certain freedom that comes with, uh, living on your own, even temporarily, and I feel like, you know, I'm really taking full advantage of, of the opportunity that I have. For example, um, in our living room, they left at around 9, 20, and in our living room at around 10, I uh, turned our subwoofer way up, so so we have a like a pretty okay t like we have like a five hundred dollar like four K TV, because um, we were in the market for a new TV, and my dad looked them up on Amazon, and I, I guess he wasn't aware of how cheap TVs had gotten, and uh, I believe our ten eighty p like sixty five inch TV was like over one thousand dollars when we bought it, right? And now you can get a uh, TV that's 10 inches bigger and it's 4k and it's $500 you know which is just crazy um, but you know he wasn't aware that the TV prices were so big we're, we're, we're had trunk so much uh, in the past 10 years or so and so um, he was like wow I can get this um, TV for so cheap and, you know it's a great TV it's better than our old one even though we paid way more for it um, but you know the colors are a bit off and you know you can tell it's not like uh, phenomenal experience, but it's still a good television, you know, and it's like a good TV. Um, but aside from that good TV, we also have a pretty okay sound system. Um, the nice thing about a sound system is that you don't really need to upgrade it. Like sound doesn't get better, you know, really. So um, uh, about 10 years ago when we got our old TV, um, we also installed this sound system, this surround sound. Like we have um, two speakers in the back and then a main channel in the front and then two side channels. Um, and a subwoofer. Um, so I saw, turned the subwoofer quite a bit up and I just listened to some music. I listened to some... I listened to some Kanye. I listened to some Pink Tape because there are some pretty interesting songs on there. And, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, when you're listening to music in headphones, there's only so much you can appreciate. Um, you know, and it's, it's very, um, you know, internal, right? It's all, it's all a very internal, like sort of, not isolationary, not, not isolation, but like, it's very, um, like, like you have, it's a small experience, right? And you're just, you're listening to this thing and it's like a, it's like a small thing you're holding in your hand, right? Like you're holding, like when you listen to music in headphones, you're holding this music, you know, and you're, and you're, and you're witnessing it, right? But, um, you know, when you're surrounded by speakers and you're listening to music, you are encompassed by the sounds. You're, you're like surrounded by this music, right? Especially with the subwoofer. Man, I didn't know that we had a 40% volume, you know, since we got it. I turned it up quite a bit and, um, you know, it, it becomes quite a physical experience as well. And it's, it's very interesting. Uh, you know, sometimes you see, hear, see those cars drive by and you could hear the base of like the subwoofer they put in the back of their car and I always thought that was a little silly but just experiencing a little bit of that on that couch today um sort of made me realize oh man you know I bet that is a lot of fun to be in one of those cars you know um but you know um yeah so yeah I woke up at around eight and my mom very nicely made me some hot coffee and a cheese bagel um an electric car just passed, it was some sort of SUV. I can tell because, you know, you can tell when a, I think it's illegal here for an electric car to be going a slow speed um, and not make a noise. So typically they make weird like hovercraft sounds when they're, when they're going slow. And so you can always tell when an electric car is coming up because it's going like wah, 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 like, like it's a, like it's a Jetsons car or something. Um, yeah, anyway, so I woke up at eight and my mom very nicely made us some, some coffee and made me a cheese bagel and, um, yeah, they're around 9.20, my parents went to Spokane. Well, they drove away, they got to Spokane like 
at noon. Yeah, like at one or so. Um, and uh, yeah, so I listen to music. I try to figure out my laptop. Honestly, I've never used the Arch install script. I might do Arch install. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what's going on with my with my laptop. I've tried doing the install a couple times, and even following like I try to exclusively do text tutorials. But I moved to even a video tutorial, and I was looking at it, and it's kind of bad practice to do video tutorials because everything's a little outdated. But I was doing everything in the right order, right? I was looking at like what to do in the arch wiki and it was lining up with what the guy was doing so I was just doing what the guy was doing and I was making sure that it matched up on the arch wiki and you know I'm it's just not booting like I you know it says grubs there in the, in the boot menu on the thinkpad but I click on grub and it just boots me back to the boot menu and I'm like what you know that that's never happened to me before I, I don't know what the issue is it's very strange um so I might do arch install and you know if that doesn't work maybe it's an issue with the laptop but I always want to think it's an issue with the laptop. It's probably an issue with my install. Well, with my installing ability. Um, and also once I worked on the laptop for a little bit, um, I then exercised. My phone was at 5% when I plugged it in. Oh, it's at 30% now. Golly. Okay, so, no, actually, I lied. I didn't exercise. Um, so the first thing I did was I, um, so we run our robot vacuum sometimes, but uh, the robot vacuum that we got in particular kind of sucked, uh, kind of sucks, and um, it has a base that it charges at, and it sucks everything from the vacuum into the base, so then you can, instead of every time the vacuum vacuums, you take out its little thing, and like, like, spill it out into the trash, you uh, can just do it with the base, like there's a trash bag in the base, and you could just do that once every couple months, you know, and that, that takes way less time, right? Um, because you don't have to like baby this vacuum so um but the problem is is that it doesn't empty into that bigger bag it just gets stuck like there's a lot of long hair on our floor or something um but you know it, it doesn't it doesn't go in it just gets stuck you know it has to go through like these two holes and then it gets suctioned up into the big bag um when it's parked on its dock but um for some reason when going through the one of the, the one of the two holes it just like gets stuck and it just builds up and it sucks um, so we don't actually use the robot vacuum that often, uh, but when we do, it's typically an occasion. Uh, we're going to be out of the house for like a couple hours, and um, you know, typically we just move this chair and the office chair just into another room where the vacuum can't get into, um, and that's usually no trouble. And it's a pretty easy way to like be able to vacuum way more of the floor, uh, and we haven't needed to vacuum the home in like like a year, so it's it's been really nice. No, not a year since like. No, oh god, yeah, I guess a year, okay. Um, and, uh, you know, instead, before I exercised, I did the meta. Uh, uh, on our dining room table, um, I flipped the chairs upside down and I put them on the table so then there was, like, space, because it never gets under the dining room table because there are legs everywhere, not only the legs of the table, but the legs of all four of the chairs that have four legs. So it was like, one, two, three, four, eight, six, twelve, six... 16, 17. it's 20 legs altogether, right? Just sort of clustered, right? And the vacuum can't get through that. But it was able to because it only became four legs because I put all the chairs up. Um, not only that, I put all the trash cans sort of on the counter. Um, I even, uh, I moved my air filter into the room. Uh, I moved that set of, that nightstand into the room. I moved all of my shores, uh, my, all of my shoes onto the ledge. Uh, so then it was able to fully vacuum my room. And, you know, my room looks pretty clean and vacuum now, uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and I also picked up the apples. We have this apple tree in our backyard, but it's kind of a bad apple tree. Um, oh, bad apple. No, it's kind of a, it's kind of a bad apple tree. Like, it doesn't make good apples. It, it like, makes rotten apples, right? And so, um, we have to, you know, our landlord has these lawn people come and mow our lawn. Uh, and the thing is, is, you know, I guess it's not their job, right? But um, when they come to mow our lawn and there are apples in the yard, their lawnmowers just go directly over the apples and they kind of chop up the apples. And so it like, you know, assuming each apple turns into three bits of apple, you know, that's multiplying every apple by three. And if there are only, if there are already 30 apples in the yard, that becomes 90 things you have to pick up after the, the, la the lawn mowing, right? So you have to be sure to pick up the apples before the lawnmower people come and you never know when they're going to come. So um, I also picked up the apples because they were like, 20 or 30 out there, uh, and I also um, put 
the trash bins out because it's um it's Monday and so I had to bring the compost and the trash out. Um, Um, yeah, and then after that I did exercise. Um, I exercised quite a bit. Um, I ran for four miles, I burned 459 calories, and my average heart rate was 137. And then I walked for four miles, it took an hour and 14 minutes. Um, I burned 573 calories, and my average heart rate was 118. Altogether today I've burned almost 1500 calories, which is which is pretty good. And, I'm really, really, really tired. <laughs> um, like even right now, I'm you know I'm, I sat down on the couch after I, I I was sitting on the couch eating, and uh, you know when I was done eating, I just sort of lay down on the couch and almost fell asleep. But that would have been a mistake because it was like six thirty, right? And if you go to bed at six thirty, what are you gonna wake up at like one? What are you gonna do then, right? I you know you can't go to bed at six thirty. Um, my lip, you can tell my lips are chapped. I, that was so weird, the thing I just did. I, I'm trying to like... <laughs> that was stupid, ignore that. Okay, my, my, my lips are chapped, I'm sorry. Sometimes this thing happens, I try not to use chapstick, um, because if you do use chapstick, your lips stop naturally producing moisture, um, and so um, you have to use chapstick all the time, right? And uh, honestly, my lips are fine a majority of the time, right? There's typically, I typically have like a week or like a week and a half streak of like really weirdly dry lips, like super, super duper dry lips. And I don't know if that's because of the humidity or what, but um, you know, typically that goes away and then it's like a few months of like completely normal lips, right? And so, sorry, my lips are drying. But yeah, I exercised on the treadmill and that was pretty good um, while the vacuum ran. Um, and uh, yeah, then I came up I had my mom's two leftover slices of pizza because she was gonna throw them away because we had pizza last night and you know it's really good. I love her pizza, but um, she had leftover pizza and she's like, "I'm gonna throw this away. Do you want this tomorrow?" And I was like, "Sure." Um, I was actually originally gonna order food. Um, honestly, I've sort of been hunting around for things to buy because um, the only thing that's gonna be bought on my uh, new credit card is my YouTube Premium subscription, and that's not gonna renew for like a while. Um, so. I, I've just been searching around for things to buy so I can put on my card and so I can see if I'll get a credit score, right? Um, and so I sort of had ulterior motives aside from just being hungry in terms of uh, the one to order food. Um, however, I, I sort of came to my senses. Uh, you know, I was looking at ordering Five Guys, that would have been like $30. I was looking at ordering McDonald's, that would have been like $29. And that's not even including the the tip and everything, right? So, you know, respectfully, I was like, man, this is so much money. You know, my parents did give me $100 for food, but I feel like the meta there, I've got an alfalfa in my head back there. The, my parents did give me $100 for food while they were gone, but honestly, I th really think the meta here is to just like put that $100 into my like emergency account and just not spend it on food and just like eat food here. Um, Oh, now I look even stupider. What if I just ruffle my hair up? That's better. Um, but, oh, now it looks weird. Oh, what's happening? I'm a crazy person, you guys. Oh, now it's back. Okay, that's fine. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so I came to my senses. I didn't order food. Uh, so I just had uh, my mom's leftover pizza. And um, I had a bowl of sausage. <laughs> we had this uh, cooked Italian sausage in our, Italian sausage? I just said Italian. I don't actually know if it was Italian sausage. I just, you, you only hear that. Um, we had a bunch of sausage in our fridge that was like cooked that would go on top of a pizza, but we had a bunch left over. So we just had a bowl of it in our fridge. My mom also was going to throw it away, but I also said I was gonna eat it. So um, I had the two things my mom were gonna throw, my mom was gonna throw away but, that I ate. Um, and that was her leftover pizza. And, sausage and that was pretty good. Um, yesterday I didn't have any coffee uh, that morning um, and I got a pretty killer headache after I exercised at around four um, and so I just had a couple aspirin and uh, then that headache went away. Apparently aspirin doesn't work for a lot of people when it comes to uh, headaches derived from caffeine withdrawal um, but you know it worked on me um, you know I, it's, it's pretty easy for me not to drink coffee in, in, a, in one morning because I could just have an aspirin and then it's fine. 
Um, it's probably not good to like depend on aspirin like that, but I feel like it might be equally as bad to depend on caffeine, right? To knock it a headache. Um, I had a cup of coffee this morning, but that's just because my mom was being very nice and making everyone coffee, right? Um, I feel like, you know, maybe caffeine's bad for you. I don't know. I'm thinking I might go on a walk tomorrow or maybe um, on Wednesday. Oh, hold on. Oh no, I have an appointment tomorrow. I can go on a walk tomorrow, Never mind. Um, but yeah, you know, what can you do? I just remembered I have an appointment at three tomorrow that I'll have to get myself to. It won't be that much trouble because I can get myself anywhere. But, um, you know, I do depend on the public transport system here and, you know, it's better than like most other cities in the U.S., right? But it's still not phenomenal. You know, I, I'd, I'd, I'd rather own a car and drive my car around, but I'm too lazy to, to get a driver's license, so I just have to make that compromise, I suppose. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah, all right, see you, dude.